Ah, uh, troublesome trucks. The pieces of rolling stock seen throughout the show Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, known for their mischievous behaviour such as delaying the engine's journeys or just straight up derailing them, causing some of the most insane crashes ever seen in a TV show. But not only are the crashes that they cause extremely captivating, but the paintwork, livery, weathering and overall look of the troublesome trucks gives an extremely realistic and grimy appearance that would be typical of heavily used pieces of rolling stock on a busy railway and makes the island of Sodor feel so much more real. In this video, I'll be covering a majority of the standard gauge pieces of rolling stock seen throughout this show from the classic seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends on how they were made and what from. So let's get into the video. Nearly all of the rolling stock, with a few exceptions seen on screen in the show, were sourced and built from Gauge 1 scale 10 mile kits. 10 mile is one of the leading manufacturers of Gauge 1 track and one of the largest single manufacturers for Gauge 1 products. Therefore, the production team working on the show didn't have a hard time finding a business that could fulfill their needs for rolling stock and other items. The first of these kits, which was the most used piece of rolling stock in the show, was the seven plank wagon, easily the most iconic troublesome truck in the show with an endless amount of merchandise based off. There were two versions of the seven plank truck used in the show, one being 10 miles FG101 that had a hand railing on the front of the truck, which apart from most of them being painted grey or brown and then being weathered, remained completely unmodified in the first season of the show. However, in season two, the seven plank trucks were modified to have the railing above the face removed, and a majority of these were painted in a washed out dark green colour scheme and a fair majority of the one seen in season 2 had a white shade of weathering applied to represent dust, most likely from rocks, lime and ballast to give them a very gritty look. The second 10 mile kit that was used for the show was the FG126 petrol tanker. These tankers were first introduced in season 1 and three variants were made, these variants being the mill tanker in white with blue lettering, the tar tanker in black with white lettering and a completely plain silver tanker. These tankers in season one notably lacked brakes and the tankers used for the milk and tar tankers were painted on each side of the same tanker. For example, an engine could be pulling a milk tanker and the film crew would simply flip it around so the other side could pull a tar tanker. In season two, Many more 10 mile tanker kits were made and a majority of these were painted completely white, some being black and a few silver, with one of the milk tankers from season 1 appearing every so often and no ta tar tankers appearing on screen at all that season. The tankers introduced in season 2 were now given brakes and the little end brackets on each end of the tanker were placed significantly closer together than the ones introduced in season 1. In Season 3, tar tankers and milk tankers made appearances on screen much more than in the previous season. Along with this, a new tanker was introduced, this being the new Sodor fuel tanker, painted in yellow, and only had the Sodor fuel lettering written on one side with the other being completely yellow. This Sodor fuel tanker was the only model of its kind to be made and appeared right up until the end of the model series. The third 10 mile kit used for the show was the G109 LMS ventilated box van, not to be confused with the similar looking LNER 12 ton vans that were introduced in season two. Like the Sodor fuel tanker, only one of these box vans was ever made, making its first and last appearance in season one. It had corrugated ends, panel sides, a large sliding door on each side, and was painted in a dark brown shade with weathering. The fourth 10 mile kit to be used for the show was the G110 Great Western Railway 12 ton ventilated box fan. First appearing in season one, they were painted in a slightly dark brown color scheme with weathering. Several of these vans had roof ventilation while others did not. These vans were mostly seen pulled by engines like Henry where they were used for the flying kipper. 
They were also one of the trucks thrown into a ravine in Season 5's episode, Haunted Henry. The fifth kit used in the show, surprisingly enough, was not a 10 mile kit and is believed to be a Milbro O-gauge wagon re-gauged to run on the 132 scale track. Although this claim about being a modified Milbro wagon is still up to debate, this piece of rolling stock being the North Eastern Railway refrigerated van, making its first appearance in season one. Only two of these kits, according to the Thomas the Tank Engine wiki, were ever used and seen on screen. One of them was supposedly acquired secondhand by the production crew around the time of the unaired pilot down the mine from 1983, while the other was a scratch-built copy that appeared in season six onwards to replace the original, as by judging the van in this photo, it was already pretty worn out from right at the beginning of season one. The vans were painted in a very dark shade of gray in an almost black color and the original version had the letters NE written in white on each side. In season 3's episode, Percy James and the Fruitful Day, Percy is diverted into a siding and crashes into the refrigerated van, smashing it up to bits. The crew rebuilt the kit, and it's next seen in episode 9 of season 4, Home at Last. The sixth kit used on the show was the 10 mile G103 SR four wheeled utility van. Although the first of its kind to be introduced in season one didn't have four wheels and instead had eight wheels, the production crew had modified it to use a pair of the standard 10 mile AG115 bogey side frame and stretcher sets. The seventh kit that was used in the show was the 10 mile G127 salt wagon. First built for the second season of the show, there were at least five of these made and they were seen in two colors with four being in a beigey white shade, with two having a more yellowed washed out look to them, and the fifth being painted in a dark brown paint scheme. The eighth kit that was used in the show was the 10 mile G129 Great Western Railway eight ton cattle wagon. First being introduced in season two, at least five of these were made and four of them were painted in brown with washed out green colored doors and flat gray roofs. However, the fifth cattle truck was different Although being painted in the same shade of brown, the doors remained the same colour as the rest of the truck rather than being painted in the dark washed out green, and the roof was painted black. The roof also had wooden framework, and one end of the cattle truck lacked panelling to accommodate faces, while the other end did have some panelling, but not all of it. The ninth kit that was used in the show was the 10 mile FG121 8-ton ventilated van, also known as the LBSCR van. At least two to three of these vans were introduced in season two and were painted in brown and weathered. At least one of these vans lacked framework on one end to accommodate faces. However, when at least two of them were seen on screen at the same time with faces, they would put the faces on the sides with the framework so they would look the same. The 10th truck we'll be talking about was the NBR Diagram 43 Tube Wagon, also known as the NE Four Plank Truck. Introduced in Season 1, only one of these was ever made, and like the refrigerated van, it's believed to have been acquired secondhand and is that of a modified Milbro wagon rather than a 10 mile kit. The NE wagon was painted in dark grey with the letters NE written in white on each side with Tube Wagon written in small letters above, and weight code 10 tons on the sides in white. The 11th piece of rolling stock, like the NE wagon, was also a four plank, being known as the LMS four plank truck, or simply the M wagon. In the model series, the four plank trucks are painted in the same shade of grey with LMS 251786 and 590 painted on white on their sides. In most of the four plank trucks appearances, the letters L and S are quite faded, which led to the creation of the name M Wagon. However, in the second series episode Cows, all of the lettering LMS can be seen, leading me to believe it was either refurbished or the fading was much more prevalent on one side. The 12th and final piece of rolling stock we'll be talking about today was the 10 mile G111 LNER ventilated box fan with corrugated ends. First appearing in season two, they were mainly seen in the background and lacked faces. They were painted in an orangey red shade of paint 
and later in the classic seasons of the show, they became more prevalent and gained faces. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and consider dropping a follow on my Twitter page in the link down below. And please leave a comment on what topic you'd like me to cover in the next video. Thanks for watching.